Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, JB, with JB's Barbecue and Guns. Coming back at y'all today with another barbecue sauce video. As a part of my uh, barbecue sauce video series, today's barbecue sauce is going to be peach habanero barbecue sauce. But before we get into all of that, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that bell so you don't miss any further uploads in the near future. All right, y'all, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. But y'all know what's first. We're going to go ahead and get this butter melted down. All right, now that we got that butter all melted down, I'm going to go ahead and throw these onions in there. Today, I'm using sweet onions. Like I say you can use any onions you want to. You can use red onions, white onions, yellow onions. But today, I'm using sweet onions. And we're going to add in about a teaspoon or so, tablespoon or so of garlic chopped up garlic Let's put some more in there that's good all right y'all now i'm going to add in a whole can of these um peach slices right here i tried to find some fresh peaches but i guess it's not peach season so they didn't nobody had any fresh peaches so i just got these no problem i just took them uh halved them up quartered them up i mean and we're going to dump them in there all right, now we're also going to add in one chopped up habanero pepper. Now, you can add more if you want more spice. I really don't like it really spicy, so I'm just adding one. Now, we're going to let all of these ingredients right here um, simmer down and kind of mesh together, and then we'll start adding in our other stuff. All right, now that we got that, all of that reduced down, now we're going to add in our ketchup. Some tomato paste, some Worcestershire sauce, apple cider vinegar, some yellow mustard, and some molasses. All right, so you want to get those ingredients all mixed together for about two or three minutes, and then we'll come back and start adding in our dry ingredients. All right, now we're going to add in our brown sugar. Now we're going to add in some chili powder. And for this one, I'm going to use some dark chili powder. You want to add in some cinnamon, some ginger, some garlic powder, some onion powder. We're gonna add in some black pepper. And the last ingredient that we're gonna add in as far as our dry ingredients is some hickory salt. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get this all stirred up and we'll add in our last thing. All right, now we're gonna add in the rest of that juice from that can of peaches. And just for good measure, let's add in some water. Now, of course, with any recipe, you want to continue to taste it throughout the process because you might have to add something that you like. So continue to taste it throughout the process and make it your own. All right, y'all, now, now that we let it simmer for about 15, 20 minutes, we're going to go ahead and dump it in the blender. Right, now we're just going to go ahead and cut the blender on and let it do its thing and then we'll be right back all right now we got it all blended up and i'll tell you i've already tasted it y'all and it is good but if you want a smooth sauce what you have to do is uh strain it because now you get some of those uh, chunks that might be left behind uh, out of there and it'll make for a smoother sauce. So now we're just gonna go ahead and strain it back into the pot. Now that we got it all strained out, 
Y'all can see how, how smooth and even that sauce is. That's the way you want it to look. Now we'll go ahead and let it cool off and we'll put it into some mason jars. All right, now what we're gonna do y'all is go ahead and get this sauce into some mason jars so that we can store it. Let's go ahead and pour it up. Be careful, still kind of warm. All right, now that we got that all into the mason jar, we're going to go ahead and we're going to seal it up. Now, one thing that I will tell y'all, okay, that I learned from a, a YouTube buddy of mine, his name is Meat Cranium, is that you can store these jars uh, hot in the refrigerator, okay? But if you turn them upside down like this for about five minutes or so, and then you turn it back over, it'll seal itself, okay? And I did it the last time I made some sauce, and it actually worked. All right, everybody, this is our finished product. It looks all smooth. I can't wait to try it. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the rest of that sauce in those other jars, and then we'll be ready to eat it probably over the weekend sometime. Like I said, um, store it about two or three days ahead of time before you get ready to serve it. That way, all of the flavors and everything can mesh together, and it'll make for a good sauce. And one thing I'll add before I sign off, y'all, is that these sauces will be available for purchase in the near future. I'll have a PayPal. I'll have a Cash App set up. And that way, if you want to buy one of my sauces, then you can buy one of my sauces. If you want to buy some rub, you can buy some rub. Once again, this is your boy JB with JB's Barbecue and Guns. Saying y'all be easy. Peace.